after he's done. So, Chief Porters, questions? How y'all doing? Welcome to Nebraska. What's your experience been like here for the first couple of months, and why did you choose to come here? Yes, my experience has been it's been phenomenal so far. Everything's going pretty well. Just you know, vibing with my team, grinding, and really competing with them is just setting me up and setting us up for success in the future. You came from Florida. Um, yes, sir. What's been the biggest adjustment for you, besides the weather, to, to living in Nebraska? OK, mm -hmm. definitely got to speak on the weather, because carrying a, a bag of salt in the back of your truck is definitely definitely something I have to do all the time. But I'm pretty much used to it, having the best of both worlds. But definitely just being with my teammates, um, that's always a great experience. My goals were to come in and focus on being a better man and a better teammate and earning the team's trust. Because coming from Florida, you know, you know, it's a different type of ball game coming to the Big Ten. So I just wanted to let them know that I'm here just as as they are and coming in to ready to compete and grind. What's it mean being a co-leader, I guess, in points at, at the end of that? What, what, what did that mean to you? Was it something you're striving for? What do you think out of that? Yeah, shout out to my Blitz Rec boys. Me and Thomas Fedoni and our, our teammates, we was able to come out with a win. I was able to, you know, produce. 184 points. Me and my boy Teddy was the leaders and leading the team points. Um, that came from tr truly community service. Me and my boy Elliot Brown and a couple of my other teammates were able to go to several different elementary schools and just give them a, an assembly and talk about bullying and talk about standing up and being a leader, you know, things of that nature. So as a, you know, a newcomer, I felt like it was important for me to get around the community and show my face and uh, give back to the community. Of different teams. How's this one? I know it's early, but how's it blending through the hard part of winter conditions? How do you see it work? I can definitely see see and feel our brotherhood is becoming tighter as we as we grow into the you know the development of Coach Rule's plan. He has a plan, and we're all buying into it. You refer to the SEC and the Big Ten as kind of different worlds. What do you mean by that? SEC and Big Ten. You know, SEC is more so you know hot weather. Georgia, uh, when it comes to just playing each other, you know, I was able to, you know, go to school in Georgia. So I was able to see a lot of my teammates and then now coming to the Big Ten, you know, ground and pound, running the ball and, you know, coming back into my Midwest roots when I grew up in Chicago, just watching U of I play on the TV and Nebraska as well. So it feels great. Did your team have a coach then that kind of coach that ran your team? Was there like one of the staff members that ran your Team. Oh, yes. So Coach McGuire was our, our team member. Uh, he was out there pushing the sled with us when we was in the snow. And we had our beanies on, tights on, we was ready to go. So shout out to Coach McGuire. And he was he was definitely holding us down as a coach. Oh, yeah. Hands down. We, who doesn't want to win? You know, who, who don't want to win? We're competitive and we're, we're a competitive team, competitive nature. So, you know, we, we love we love to win. You, you guys uh, on the roster coming up that are on this roster out of Chicago area, right? Yes, sir. Marquise Buford and a plethora of other players as well. What's, uh, there's some tough football there. What, 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 how'd that uh, kind of get you going as a young player as you were growing up there? Yes, sir. So growing up in Chicago, I know Marquise is not going to like with that. I told the story. But growing up in Chicago, we was able to beat the Naperville Patriots, which is, was the team that that Marquise Buford played for, I was the Melrose Pride Gales and on for the Super Bowl, you know, the Naperville Patriots, you know, they, they come in with the charter buses and, you know, they have all all the great, you know, bread and money and things of that nature. But, you know, the little town, uh, Melrose Park Gales, we was able to beat them that day for the championship, the YFL championship when we was 12U. So I was really happy about that, Marquise. I know they called it passing interference, but guess what? We won at the end of the day. How excited are you for spring football? And I mean, could you be a flexible guy? You're listed as a linebacker, but you have size that maybe you could carry other spots. What, what, what are you thinking? Yes, sir. So really anything to do what's best for the team. You know, Coach White, he has a plan for his defense. You know, this 3 through 5 is definitely definitely something that, that you all will be excited to see. It's very maneuverable, very versatile. So I plan on, you know, doing what's best for the team. Right now I'm at linebacker, but I plan on doing a plethora of other things if told to do so. So whatever it benefits for the team in a positive, great matter. How would you describe that defense? Very fun. 
you know, you can rush off the edge, you can drop, you can, you know, head up the ball, which is play as a stack linebacker. You know, you, you're able to not just put yourself in a box and just strictly play one position, and this is what you have to do the whole time. Like, you can be versatile. You can be, you know, a well-dynamic player, and that's what I love doing. Um, I train for it, so it, it just works out in the best ways for me and my team. What is it like to learn? Uh, just because there's so many moving pieces and uh, position fluidity. So Can you elaborate on that up just a little bit? Just like when you're looking at the scheme and there is there's a lot of different things going on. What is it like to learn? More so, you just you just start off with with the front. Okay, you just start off with okay. Are we in the stack personnel, which is a five hundred five, or are we in even? You know, it, it all depends on you know what type of front we're in. And then from there, you go from the blitzes and your alignments and things of that nature. So it's all about a step process. You know, you just take your time gradually, consume the information, and then you know you set yourself up for success. Just get in half of those right, and everything else is play football. Player, he talked a little bit about maybe being a TikTok star, <laughs> being a lead in the community. Can you elaborate on that? Yes, ma'am. So, just growing up, you know, I always had, you know, just a, a bright smile, bright character, you know, just having fun. And I just love to expound upon that on, you know, several situations. You know, playing football, I am a football player. I am also, I'm definitely a student athlete, and I love to just have fun. And, you know, I don't like putting myself in the box. I'm more so. Just love doing new experiences and things of that nature. So I definitely refer to TikTok as well. Um, I feel that's a great way to grow my brand. Um, that's a great way to, you know, just get people to see me and my team and, and what we have to offer. You know, not just as a football player, but as a person. Because life after football, you know, it, it, it goes a long way. What's been the most viral TikTok? <laughs> okay, so the most viral TikTok was the one that most recently with me and Jessica Gardner, the pole vaulter. I don't know if y'all see that, but I definitely uh, had my trial and error of trying to pole vault. It was definitely pretty, pretty fun. Um, that also has 3.4 million views on TikTok, and it's still growing. And also uh, ESPN also reached out and was, you know, trying to get copyrights and own so they can display it on all their, you know, networks and channels. So I guess we're heading in the right direction. <laughs> Chief, the Big Ten is known for its offense alignment, a lot of it. Why, why are you confident that you can maybe slide down there and, and kind of hold your own down there? Yes, sir. So offense alignment, I love competition um, when it comes to just pass rushing, pass rushing and, and getting to the quarterback. You know, that would be one of my attributes, one of my jobs this season. So I'm ready for that. Um, definitely playing in the SEC has prepared me for that. Also watching over, you know, my people coming from that came from Florida. They prepared me to learn how to rush the quarterback. I feel that we have a pretty good offensive lineman that's going to prepare me and our team for the next things and next challenges coming up for the future. I know you're your own, you're your own player, but maybe have you watched um, film study <coughs> on some other guys that you think that you um, are similar to? Yes, sir. So. Watching film, I, that's something I do on a daily habits. I've more so been focusing on our, us as a team and just truly understanding like what we have coming up for the next season, even next spring. So, you know, I haven't looked at my opponents yet, but I am also definitely studying film on, you know, this from the past Syracuse film, just learning the defense as well. But I'm always staying on my toes and I will be watching my opponent soon. Ask more for Football question, but one of your former teammates is, is Anthony Richardson. He's best quarterback. At Yes, my brother Anthony Richardson. He's he shut down down the combine, and he made he put on a show for them. As we knew, you know, me and my brother, we talked about it for you know a long time. And when you manifest something and you put something in the air and you work towards it, you know, you definitely going to achieve it. So that's what he did. How, how, how does it help you better to face that guy in practice? Definitely, you know, you gotta you gotta make sure you. Blitz on the outside upfield shoulder, so because Ant loves to scramble, he also loves he can, he can definitely throw the ball. So you have to be aware of both both attributes and several other attributes because he can make you miss if you're one on one head up. So going against my one of one of my former teammates, my players, my brother, he he definitely prepared me for a lot of several situations that I'll be prepared for. So yeah, love him. Thank you, Chief. Chief, you do the videos with the other uh, sports. You know, stars. Yes, sir. Has doing that kind of taught you a little bit more about yourself or more yourself as an athlete beyond football? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. So that has also allowed me to, you know, get more involved in with the people that's around me in Nebraska, you know, other athletes at Nebraska. That has also allowed me to, you know, let myself know like what I can do, what I can put out into this world and what people like, and then just, you know, piggyback off of that and, you know, keep pursuing and, you know, growing my brand and growing my brand for platforms and things of that nature in the future. All right, thank you, Chief. Appreciate it, John. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>